If you don't already know, African cichlids are aggressive fish and you normally would never add just one. The reason is because when one new fish is added to the current hierarchy in your tank, that one fish is going to get picked on aggressively by everyone else in the tank. And while a new fish is most likely already stressed from changing environments or from transit from the fish store to your tank, the additional stress from a fish picking on him can absolutely kill your little buddy. So what about that scenario where you were just window shopping one day and it happened to walk into your local fish store just to look, right? Not to buy anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you spot a gorgeous fish you just have to have. No judgment here, guys. It happens to the best of us. But you already have a pretty good amount of fish and you don't want to buy three or four. You just want that one stud. Like any of these guys, check them out. Look at those colors. You could pick out any one of these and say, I gotta have that one guy. Like this guy right here. Look at this monster, guys. He's huge. What a beautiful Venustas. Check him out. All by himself. He must be a troublemaker. Or, how about this guy right here? Beautiful colors on him. Turn sideways, guys, so we can see you. Beautiful colors. And what if you spotted a frontosa like that and you had to have him? You had to go home with that guy. It happens. Or how about the scenario when one of your fish gets sick and you've got to remove him into a hospital tank until he gets better and recovers from whatever the issue was. Sometimes this can take weeks or months for a fish to fully recover from disease or from getting beat up or whatever. But now you've got one fish ready to go back into your main tank alone. So what do we do? How do we add just that one fish into our established African cichlid tank? Good question. Very good question. And here's the hack. First of all, I do highly suggest that you quarantine your new fish for a multitude of reasons that we won't get into in this video, but you can check this one out right here on quarantine and it'll be helpful for you. Once quarantine time is over for your new fish or hospital time is over for your recover fish and we're ready for our one fish to go into the main, unfortunately, it's gonna take a little bit more time, guys. What's that supposed to mean? I know that we all want our guys together in our beautiful display tank, but if you want to just throw that one fish in all alone, you're taking a big risk. It could work out, it might work out, but the probability of killing that one fish is greater in my opinion. So a great way to get around this issue is to add a few fish from your main tank into the quarantine tank with that new or just recovered fish. What are you, ta what are you talking about? That's, in that's insane. Hear me out guys, don't get upset. I got a plan. When you add a few more guys into the quarantine, I say about three or four guys, there won't be much aggression at all in that quarantine tank because everyone's kind of discombobulated. Everyone's like, what's this? Where am I? Why am I here? Even the one fish that's been in the quarantine tank is gonna be like, who are these guys? And why are you guys here? So don't worry about aggression in the quarantine tank. Now the plan is that you're gonna leave them together for about a week or so in quarantine. In your main tank, the hierarchy will be adjusting itself from the three or four missing fish. And in the quarantine tank, the added fish are gonna forget whatever position they had in the main tank. Now, after that week is up, you can add all four or five fish in total into the main tank together. It'll be new to them all. The aggression will spread while a new hierarchy order is formed. And at the end of the day, you'll have one new fish successfully added into your tank. Well, I'm back. Now, of course, I understand that many of us will just buy more than one fish to begin with and avoid this problem altogether. But trust me when I tell you, you'll eventually get to a point where you'll feel you're finally done with adding fish. Your tank is already overstocked and you don't want to add any more. But then you see that one guy, that one beautiful stud that you just have to have. Mark my words, it's going to happen. And when this continues to happen, be prepared to either upgrade your filtration or even better, upgrade your entire tank. Don't worry, I've got you covered there too. Peace.